So we have a break in the frigid weather. It's in the mid 40s today, whoopee. As far as I'm concerned, it's still too cold. few things. Let's see, we got a box. Oh, it's heavy. I think this is the soil. It was in soil and yep, this is soil. I was just getting tired of the miracle grow, particularly because it had a lot of fungus gnats this time around. Alright, so that's just a soil bag. I try to order these Amazon orders, you know, like with the least amount of boxes, but they still don't do that. Uh, we're in the noisy poop house with the chickens. This one's getting her dust bath on. We got some leftover scraps to give them. I'm just gonna have a chicken there. Sorry. Yeah, I like to take the eggshells, scatter them about. Now, I wish I could show you how it went the fermenting corn, but I filmed that and the camera glitched and I lost that footage. So here we are, many days later, with nothing to show for it. I also add some in this dust bath I'm encouraging them to use. And a little bit inside their, their home. I'm also going to come in and rake a lot of this dirt on the path back into the center. They're doing a very good job of flattening out the hugel. And I want to I wanna build that back up. So the subject of my last intended video was all about the leaves that I get from my in-laws. But, well luckily I still have a bag left so I can actually show you something from that. So use, last year I got like 10 bags, these contractor bags of leaves, which I was so excited about. And then this year I only got three bags of leaves and I was like, oh, what happened? Then it turns out and these are mowed down leaves with grass clippings, which is so much better. This is like heaven striking gold. So I've already spread the other two bags, one in my leaf mold composting system. So this is the leaf compost I've got going. And then I emptied one of the bags in. Another one among several beds I have um, resting. So I have one last bag to spread around smaller areas that, that need some some blanketing. <laughs> it's tucked in some more garlic in some of the spaces. I tucked in garlic in a lot of spaces actually. Not a lot, just more than typical. I just I want to get a larger yield this year and do a lot more interplanting. Oh, we have several freezing nights. We have weeks of freezing nights, and um, there's lettuce. It's growing, but slow, which is expected for this time of year. And a little bit of spinach still hanging on, growing and sitting around.
and I was afraid that these would blow blow away but they really haven't and we've had some doozy of some wind come in so they'll get moist we have plenty of precipitation and that will be that uh, where else we should just use it all along here this is a future future bed for next year and it's just great because it's a combination of brown and green and it will break down so much faster and be available to worms and other microbes living in the soil and you really want to do as much soil amendment in the fall and gives the earth more time to break down and make it bioavailable for your plants when you plant them in the spring. Now we're going to put some down here in the beds that I had used for the rhubarb. I will replant the rhubarbs, transplant them into another part of the garden in the spring when they come up versus doing it in the fall. And I also planted a garlic along this line here. So it's my last bag, so I'm going pretty conservatively just so I have enough to stretch for all the spaces I may have left. Here's the last remaining, the strongest rhubarb still up. And the celery is doing all right. Hasn't been touched by the freeze. And the ground hasn't frozen yet. So I'm waiting to harvest these carrots because I really want to get them as big as possible. This will be my first ever big harvest of carrots. These three here. Oh, looking like two big carrots and one smaller one. And then these, I don't know, I know they're not that big because I put them in a lot later. But peas, peas are still alive. They haven't been protected and they haven't succumbed to freezing it. Which is amazing. There is more wilting with the Swiss chard, but still a lot of it is in really good good health. The calendula has fallen over, but still looking green. Spinach. A little bit of spinach in there. And kale, we know, is quite hardy. And there's been several snowfalls. Just little ones, but they've been covered in snow. And perfectly green. No sign of freeze damage. I don't know what's eating them. Is it birds or some kind of caterpillar? It's so cold for that. Can't figure it out. And the rest, I'm gonna I'm just trying to establish a new bed here. Right now, it's got a lot of tomatillo stalks, and so I think I'll put the rest of the bag on here. I got cardboard down bottom and just stacking as I go. Breaking up some of the clumps. Right. And we're in the wrong boots of course. And 
the bag I'm just using as soil coverage in one of the beds. And there's plenty of um, leaves and stuff in there already, but this will just be extra thing to break down and feed the soil. So I don't think I'll be doing too much more outdoor filming for a while. It's just too cold and fingers hurt. But unless we have, you know, an unseasonable winter, which is likely, we've been having some wacky weather. All right, I'll leave you here. Talk to you all soon. Bye.